In this video, we're going to configure basic management access on the ASA. When we're completed, we should be able to access the ASA using SSH and ASDM. In our first video, we did some SSH configuration with the vCenter template. I can issue the show run include SSH command to verify this. Since I'm not using the management interface, I'm going to go ahead and remove those SSH lines. If I were configuring this from scratch, I would first enable the ASA's HTTP server by issuing the HTTP server enable command. I'll then add lines for SSH and HTTP allowing for access from the inside interface and the 10.10.10.0/24 subnet. ASDM stands for the ASA Device Manager. It gives us a graphical user interface to perform administration on an ASA. It's an optional component and requires downloading an additional package. Going back to the Cisco software page, I'm at my download page for the ASA V software. I'm going to click back on the browser and I'll find a link for the ASDM packages here. I'll go ahead and just download the most up-to-date package. On this computer, I have a TFTP server running. So once this ASDM bin file is downloaded, I'll move it into the TFTP root folder. And then I'll make sure that the TFTP server is running. Now that that's done, let's swing back to the ASA command line. We're going to use the copy TFTP flash command to copy this file from the computer over to the ASA. After that's done, I'll verify that it's been copied over by using the dir command. Now I need to let the ASA know which ASDM image to use. I'll do so by issuing the ASDM image command with the local path of the ASDM image. So at this point, we've configured HTTP and SSH access to be allowed on my inside interface. We still need to configure how authentication will take place. I'm going to use the local identity store so to do so, I'll issue the AAA Authentication HTTP Console Local and the AAA Authentication SSH Console Local commands. This specifies that any SSH and HTTP connections should be authenticated against that local store. I can first verify that this works with SSH by SSHing to the inside interface and then logging in with the local admin username and password. So it looks like it works, so let's go ahead and verify that the HTTP server is running and ASDM is accessible. We'll do that by navigating to the inside interface with my browser. If Java Web Start is not installed in your computer, you'll want to click here first and install it in order to run ASDM. If it's already installed, click on the Install ASDM Launcher and enter your local credentials. This will kick off a download of the ASDM client. And with that, that completes our video on configuring basic management access to the ASA.